Look at that, we're starting to get something very crane looking like. <laughs> And welcome to Science Castle. Today's episode will be all about cranes. Here's a very large crane. This kind of crane can lift over 10,000 pounds and can reach as high as 200 feet. We'll be building cranes, learning about cranes, the mechanics of how they work, as well as how they're used in the world. Combinations of levers and pulleys and weights and counterbalances that allow tremendous jobs to be done. And we'll be uh, enjoying our episode's story with Mike and Maxie learning about cranes, too. He looked at the heavy trucks and riggers that were roaming around the east wing of Science Castle. I hope you have your experiment kit for the cranes. If you do, we'll open it up now. Cranes are used in the construction industry all the time to lift big, heavy pieces and parts up to the tops of buildings. Let's hide and see what's going on, suggested Mike. This is going to be our jib arm. Here we have a big stacks of huge pieces of metal holding down the back of that crane so that the front of the crane can lift up huge heavy things. Their eyes grew bigger once they noticed who had climbed out of the truck. It was the evil Dr. D, followed by his mean cat, Puss. The first thing that we have here is a lever. The lever uses a short arm and then a hinge point, which we call the fulcrum, a restaurant. This is called Dinner in the Sky. Yes, I think Dr. D has stolen this truck from the Science Castle construction site. For this experiment, we'll pull out the large piece, the large flat piece, and here is the hoist. It's a set of pulleys with a motor up here. Trouble, said Maxie. The letters EX stand for explosives. Cranes are just huge, wonderful machines. Psst, I hear footsteps, whispered the mouse. We could put something heavy on here and be able to lift it just fine. This, this is a, a shipping crane, as a matter of fact. Ugh, this is heavy stuff, but it's all worth it. Soon the secret book of colors will be mine. He is about to steal the secret science books which are kept in the basement of Science Castle. The easiest way to lift a load is with a pulley. The pulley is a simple machine with a piece of rope over a wheel. Mike and Maxie tried to push the rock a few more times, but it would not move an inch. Well, you know, and this is what science is about too, finding out what works and what doesn't work. And what now? asked the mouse. How can we remove the rock? Each of those containers is the size of an apartment. And how can we remove Valentina? asked the boy. Because we're going to need almost every piece in order to build this crane. But how? said the dragon. I weigh over 1,000 pounds. Nobody can lift that much. This crane looks a lot like our cranes that we're going to be building next. True, said Mike. Gee, I am clueless. Then we'll take one of these three, length of three yellow pieces, and we'll push it in here. How can we remove the rock and then lift the dragon? I wish I had an idea. It would take the place of a motor in a real crane. That's part of a hoist. This is a combination of so many simple, simple machines, levers, pulleys, hoists, counterbalances, but all those put together can do some amazing things. 